Welcome to Channel 18 News, I'm Jim Rogers. Hopkins County Dairy Festival activities began Friday at noon at the Celebration Plaza. The opening ceremonies at Celebration Plaza will include the candidates for the Dairy Festival Queen, pilots of the balloon rally, and others involved in the Dairy Festival activities. They will be present for a ribbon cutting. At 6 p.m. Friday, the balloon rally begins, and at 7 p.m. Friday, the 5K Milk Run. Both the balloon rally and milk run will begin on the campus of the Shannon Oaks Church. On Saturday at 10 a.m., Dairy Festival Parade will leave Buford Park to travel Conley Street to Celebration Plaza to Gilmer Street, with the parade ending at the corner of Gilmer and Lee Street. KSST will broadcast the parade live on radio and kssdradio.com stream. A video replay of the event will be broadcast on Sudden Link Cable Channel 18 at a later time. Also at 10 a.m. on Saturday, the Junior Dairy Show begins at the Civic Center Arena. Saturday afternoon at 3 p.m., the Festival Queen contestants, their parents, and balloon pilots will compete in a cow milking contest at the Civic Center Arena. The Chamber of Commerce Ice Cream Freeze-Off begins at 5.30 p.m. It has moved to the Shannon Oaks Church Lawn. In an all-you-can-eat event, you may purchase individually ice cream for $3 per cup. The Balloon Glow, which is free, is at 6 p.m. until 9 p.m. The Dairy Festival Coronation Pageant is Saturday, June 17th, 7 p.m. In, in the Silver Springs Independent School District Fine Arts Auditorium. The current Ms. Hopkins County Senior Classic, LaVon Elam, is going to be turning over her crown to a new Ms. Senior this Saturday night. Let's meet three more of our contestants, Linda Pickle Hill, Patsy Christ, and Elizabeth Wilburn. My name is Linda Pickle Hill, and I'm from the Martin Springs area. You have competed before. Last year was my first pageant. And seems like you took one of the awards. I took Most Talented. Okay, thank you. Tell me who you are. I'm Patsy Christ, and I'm from Cumby. Um, I've lived in Hopkins County for 33 years. Okay. This is your first bid at Ms. Senior. Yes, it is. Okay, we're glad to have you along. Thank you. And tell me who you are. I'm Elizabeth Wilburn, and I've lived in uh, Sulphur Springs my whole life. And you are no stranger to us. No, I was in it in <laughs> 2014. All right. And we see you around at lots of things, Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. Well, this is an exciting year, very exciting year for Ms. Hopkins County Senior. We had 12 contestants originally, and then life happens. And so that's a pretty big field of contestants for Karen Weatherman to round up. I'm maybe the largest ever. She does wonderful. Does she it? Does. Would she anybody does. like to sing the praises of Karen Weatherman? Oh, Yay. she's a saint. I'm she's absolute a, yeah. saint. She, God we put her so in the right place. Her. Yes, and she's, she's, she's marvelous. wonderful. She doesn't work. She does a ministry. She really does. Mm -hmm. And this is something I want to ask each one of you. Uh, the Ms. Texas Senior Classic Pageant is the next level of this of this competition. I've never been, and it but, is so fun. Oh, it's it's really great. It's top notch. The uh, various towns that get involved in this type of pageant that we're going to have, and this actually our eighth, um, celebrate the importance and value of ladies 60 plus. Mm -hmm. And so I know each of us have our own uh, personal story about that. And it's also changing the image of aging. Mm -hmm. True, true. Mm -hmm. So do you have things that you uh, feel that you're contributing? I'm I feel like by doing this that I will encourage other ladies to do it mm -hmm. and to get out and have something to look forward to. Because when you have something to look forward to, it makes life fun and happy and easy to get up out of bed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very positive. Helps, pe helps people to get out and, and to know mm -hmm. that there's something that they can go do, just like your neighbor or her. You know, they, don't, they stay in the house all the time and mm -hmm. don't get out and... It's it's a fun thing to do. I know um, by doing the pageant, I've connected with other women that I would have never met, and they're now lifelong friends. Mm -hmm. And they have been such a support network and fun doings throughout the year. So it's helping women and other people realize 
just because you're a senior, it's just the start. Mm -hmm. That is so mm -hmm. true. And fa mm -hmm. finally, the door is open, open for us to have time to do the things we would like yes. to devote time to. Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That's right. Now, we're going to be right. finding out about your talent and other par portions of the contest, but I've got to ask, we really do have a fourth guest in the <laughs> room. Linda, will you tell us about that one? Um, Atticus Finch came into my life in September of 2015. Uh, this month, he turns two years old. He is my service companion dog. Okay. He's, uh, he helps with mobility and medical alert issues. And he is just a marvelous young man. He's a redhead like his mama. <laughs> <laughs> and he is a French Mastiff. He is a Duguay de Bardot, commonly called a Bardot, a French Mastiff. If anyone's ever seen Turner and Hooch, I have a Hooch dog. Okay, and he's <laughs> large. I love and that. Yes. <laughs> fills a room with his personality. Mm -hmm. He walks in and does fill the room. <laughs> Well, let's start down here with Elizabeth and find out about the talent portion of the Saturday night's pageant. What will you be doing? Okay, I'll be reading a poem. Um, the teacher uh, I picked this poem uh, because uh, I knew the person that, that wrote it. I knew the person that he wrote about him, and he was a wonderful pastor. Uh, he was a friend. Uh, he was a teacher. Uh, he could work on cars, uh, and just this just popped out at me. I had another point, but I, I thought that I would honor him because uh, uh, did not realize that uh, his birthday is Saturday on okay. the time. So I'm, I'm honoring my pastor that has passed away. Okay, and, and was called you, the teacher. Would you tell us his name? Uh, um, pastor Kill. Okay. That's your okay. Well, tell me, while we're on that subject, what kind of brings you to this place in your life? I know you've done many things in your life, like all of us have, and then we find ourselves here ready to maybe stop and celebrate a little bit about what we've done. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I've, had, I've had several surgeries, uh, and I'm just here lately, and I'm, uh, I'm tired of going to physical therapy, but, you know, you have to go on. And uh, to keep going, I don't want to be in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, uh, in uh, 2016, I had my hip done. In 2000, uh, in uh, yeah, in 2000, in August, and then in December, I had my knee done. Okay. So I've had really uh, a lot of therapy, and uh, I praise the doctors. I praise my family. If it wasn't for my husband, I don't know what I would have done because he waited on me hand and foot. <laughs> I think of ladies who have under decided to undergo these surgeries that they needed, maybe are a little afraid of. It was mm -hmm. very brave to go forward, and then you find what lies on the other side mm -hmm. for your life. And the doctors were the doctor, uh, Dr. Graves here in Sulphur Springs. I didn't go out of town. A lot of people do, but uh, I stayed in town. And Dr. Graves is wonderful. He's a real nice man. Thank you, Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. Patsy, tell us about your uh, your talent. Well, my talent's going to be a skit, and uh, I always admired Lucy. Mm -hmm. I Love Lucy show was my favorite when I was a child. Mm -hmm. And to this day, I still watch her episodes. <laughs> There's never a time that I don't laugh out loud. <laughs> so I'm hoping that by doing the skit that the ladies and gentlemen in the audience will laugh out loud with me. And um, I've come here mainly because uh, it's a renewing of my life. And when I say that, mm -hmm. I can uh, understand you, Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. Last year I had four surgeries. Uh -huh. And we go through a lot of pain in life. We go mm -hmm. through a lot with our children. And we take the hard knocks, but we've got to stay up and keep going. Keep it going. And, um, with all the renewing in my life last year and the changes, I lost um, 60 pounds in two years. And um, I got off of diabetes medicine. I don't have to take it. Wow. I, my doctor took me off of my um, That's great. thyroid medicine mm -hmm. and also blood pressure medicine. I take very little um, medication now. And I didn't realize that if I just took time for myself, and it took that many years, being married 49 years, it took a long time, starting last year, to have time for myself. 
and, and you're so, making time. And I don't feel selfish about it. Right. I feel real happy to have that time. And you know what? Someone with a genuine smile like yours, yeah. it just mm-hmm. does so much for the people around you. Thank you. So mm-hmm. thank you for sharing your gifts. Thank you. <laughs> Linda. Uh, my talent this year will be a, a stand-up reading. Or, or What I'm going to do is explain what it takes to become a well-grounded senior uh, grandparent, which comes from being a well-grounded parent. And this is based in my life as a single parent raising two daughters who are really great characters <laughs> <laughs> and you stay very busy in your life i do i i try very much to i am a dog groomer um i help raise my grandchildren um i'm very busy with the adoption groups and shelters in our area we groom dogs so that they can be real pretty when people go look and pick out a new companion to take home um, I'm also an ordained minister. Uh, I'm very involved with guest speaking and um, speaking on ladies' issues. Okay. And um, very involved in African ministries. You happen to have remarried. I married the man of my dreams, my best friend for the past two and a half years, uh, Charles Hill. Hi, honey, I love you. Um, he's now my biggest cheering section. Um, and that was just during this year? We married March the 3rd. And the story behind that is, right after he asked me, I got sick with poison ivy, which <laughs> abscessed as oh, it no. started to clear. When they got me to the hospital, they said I had 24 hours to live. If they didn't do what? surgery, I was a mess. Mm-hmm. And um, mm-hmm. Charles stayed with me all through that. And when he got out, he said, we're getting married now. <laughs> so I got out one week. We got our license. We got married that weekend. <laughs> I see. Wow. And it's just been <laughs> fabulous. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that story with us. <laughs> Uh, the, we need to invite everybody to come and meet you and see all that will happen in the pageant Saturday, June 10th, this coming Saturday, mm-hmm. 6 p.m., League Street Church of Christ in their large family life center, which I think the entrance is at the back side of the church. There's lots of parking there. So please come. It's absolutely free. Bring someone with you. And mm-hmm. I think you'll be blessed. And it's a it's mm-hmm. very gratifying experience to so see these ladies. We'll have nine of them who will do the evening gown presentation the talent and the uh, philosophy of life. Actually, that's your sort of your judge's interview. You're asked to select a question out of a fishbowl mm-hmm. and then answer the question. Answer the question. And after all these four portions, actually, then the judges will uh, retire to the tabulation room and we'll have our other or our past uh Ms. Hopkins County Seniors to present some talent and let us know them a little bit more. She's and, many. Yeah. Oh, our reigning mm-hmm. Ms. Hopkins County Senior, you met her last LaVon. year. Mm-hmm. Sweet, sweet mm-hmm. lady. LaVonna Elam, she is one of those. I think she got finished her college degree at an advanced age. Just oh, grand mm-hmm. She was squeeze. working on that in 2014. Yeah. 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 Wow. And she's mm-hmm. ridden in every parade since then, and she's been in every ribbon cutting, and she's really been one of our Miss, Very nice. most outgoing Miss seniors, yes. So each of you have an opportunity to follow in her footsteps. Oh. <laughs> so before we go, if uh, you'd like to just say anything else briefly, uh, an invitation to folks or whatever. I'd just like to invite everybody out and... Uh, uh, I would like to say that uh, uh, I'm fixing to be married for 50 years, and uh, 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 I love my husband dearly. And uh, well, tell us his name, uh, Stephen Wilburn. Okay, thank you for sharing that with us. <laughs> I want to say hello to all my Regal Foxy Philly Red Hat ladies, <laughs> and I want you all to come out and see us this Saturday night. My brother from Dallas, my sister, all my nine grandchildren, and my daughter and my son, I'm looking for you all to come out. And then also my 
past friends from the quilt guild, Lone Star Heritage Quilt Guild. Yeah. I look forward to seeing all of you. Because you have been a quilter for a long time, <laughs> too. I would like to invite all of Hopkins County to come, everyone in Sulphur Springs, uh, all my dog grooming clients, that should fill the building. <laughs> and um, just everyone come and join us and bring a friend. Okay. Thank you, ladies, for being here today. And don't forget, Monday morning, 3 a.m., Interstate 30 at Cumby will be closed for 15 minutes as Encore installs an overhead electric line across Interstate 30, according to the Texas Department of Transportation. If the work is not completed within the 15-minute period, the road will be opened to allow the traffic queue to pass, and then it will be closed again for a short period of time to conclude the work. Thanks for watching Channel 18 News. Have a great evening.